Okay, so apologize for my appearance, but oh my god, as you probably know, I haven't posted in a week. Um, a lot's been going on. I know I kind of updated you at the end of the last video, um, but yeah, a lot has been going on. Um, the Monday, I want, I think. Yeah, the Monday before Christmas, um, my grandma passed away. Um, I had mentioned it in my last video if you want to hear more about it, but um, she was 94 and she had a really great life. Um, her dog had died um, a couple months back and I feel like after that she was just not the same, I guess. Um, and it was really sad and kind of sudden. Um, I mean, I had seen her at the end of October um, and she was driving and like, fine and then she had fallen and had a stroke um my mom and her sisters went and like took turns taking care of her and then um she had another stroke and at that point she couldn't talk anymore and um my mom actually was going out to get her prescription and went to check on her before she left and she had passed and I mean I'm happy she's not in pain anymore um but it's really hard because I was just getting to know her as an adult and I just wish I had more time, you know, I wish that as a teenager, you know, I made a point to spend more time with her, because she was amazing, um, technically she was my step-grandmother, my mom's stepmom, um, and my last grandparent, so that's very sad, um, and then a couple of months ago, my uncle, my mom's closest brother in age, um, who's single, no kids or anything, um, he had found out he had a serious heart issue and he had to get a valve replacement um and he was in the hospital for weeks and then he finally went home and then it was bad again and they the medicine they had put him on like wasn't right and he went in the hospital again and he got covid there um and the covid for him was not as bad as it definitely could have been um he had mostly like stomach issues not so much breathing issues which is good but um because he had covid the the hospital employees didn't want to go in his room as much so he felt very neglected and um you know it's not their fault they're overwhelmed but because so many people are not being careful and are getting covid um you know the hospital workers are so overstretched and overwhelmed and then they get it and they can't come into work and um they couldn't properly treat him for his heart issue because they were so overwhelmed with COVID patients and they kind of rushed him out of the hospital before he should have left. Um, so he went home and he had this life vest that was supposed to kind of shock him if his heart went into like the wrong kind of rhythm. And um, it was going off all the time and we like, he thought that it was just like, you know, not on right, but really his heart was struggling and um, he had fallen and he couldn't walk and he was so weak and we weren't sure like he was COVID was over by that point but um we just you know I think that COVID definitely had something to do with it whether it was just the fact that the hospital couldn't care for him properly because COVID was taking over or that COVID did weaken his heart um we do think that there was maybe a faulty valve that they put in like we're not really sure but my mom had made him go to the hospital that day um because otherwise he would have died at home and um in pain and um they weren't allowed my mom and my aunt weren't allowed to be in the hospital with him obviously because of covid um and we got a call christmas eve that um he, they had shocked him twice because he had lost a heart rhythm and um i went with my mom to the hospital and they did let her go see him because they said that if they had to shock him again, that he'd be brain dead. And, um, so she decided that they would take him off all the machines and let him be with his mom in heaven. And, um, they, got, they I mean, out of my mom's one of eight and she was the only one that was allowed to be there. And I was glad I could be there for her, although I couldn't, like, come in the room or anything. Um but she was with him when he died and it was just a really really hard night and on Christmas Eve and it was just you know really bad time and then um you know at that point we kind of thought could it get any worse and this year did get worse I don't want to share other people's um 
you know, details. But some other people in my life had gone through things that are unimaginable. Um, and I just felt like this year couldn't get worse. Um, so I'm really glad 2020 is over. Today is the third. Um, and I know that I was going to do like a Christmas haul. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I feel like I already put everything away. But um, I wanted to kind of like, you know, have something exciting to do. But like on our Christmas was just very like sad. You know, we opened presents and tried to make the best of it. But it was just, you know, how can you? I don't know. And then um, what day was it? Friday? Thursday? Wednesday? Wednesday was my sister's birthday. Um, and it was also my uncle's memorial. So a very, very small group of us got together to, um, you know, pay respects and everything. And it was not easy. Um, he was the first of my mom's siblings to pass away. And um, it's just, it's just really shitty. I mean, I don't want to cry. Um, but I had my boyfriend come for Christmas and he's been there for me and he's been great and um I'm just so lucky to have found him um this year has been so terrible and so great um I don't know oh I don't want to cry um with everything that's happened to everyone in this country and the world this year it's hard to kind of you know look back and try to think of the good things I did do a post of like my highlights of 2020 like Biden winning and stuff um but uh I want to do I mean I know my boyfriend probably doesn't watch this but I just wanted to say thank you to him he just he made this year bearable <laughs> I mean I was single for six years before I met him and I don't know how I got so lucky I really don't because I mean I have had some pretty bad boyfriends and dating experiences and he's just everything I could have ever imagined and more I mean I just don't know how I got so lucky um and this year you know we we met last year in tw or the year 2019 we met but this year was like you know we really became what we are now and um I just can't wait to live together and you know to have our lives and it just makes me so happy and I don't know how I would have gotten through the end of this year without him. And, um, I don't really know why I'm making this video, I guess, to catch you guys up and let you know, like, why I hadn't posted. Um, I'm hoping to have some, you know, get back to some normalcy this week. I finally was able to do, like, my work work that is what pays me, you know. Um, I finally did that last night. Um, yeah, this just oh my god I just like 2021 please be better <sighs> just like please be better for everybody it's just really sucky you know but I mean I did have a good Christmas you know with all of this going on I was able to spend time with people I love and you know I was happy to receive everything I got and um you know, there was good parts of this year that I'm trying to focus on. And my cats are doing really well. Um, although Binks is jumping up on top of the refrigerator and I'm really afraid he's going to hurt himself. He's been playing fetch. I could put in a clip here. Um, he's been playing fetch. Like, what the heck? He's almost two. And, like, he's all of a sudden playing fetch and only with this one little mouse toy he has. It's just so weird. Um, so I ordered, like, ten more of them. Because he keeps, like, knocking them underneath the furniture. And I have to, like, go down on the ground and, like, try to get it out for him so that he can keep playing. He loves it. Um, and he's been cuddling with me. I think he finally forgave me for when I had to lock him out when Bert was recovering because they couldn't play. Um, so I feel like he finally forgave me for that because now he's, like, sleeping in bed with me and, like, just being so great. Um, is there something else I want to talk about? I don't know. But that's weird. I'm just looking at my robe I have sitting over on the chair and it looks like there's a stain on it. Anyway, um, I've been watching Grimm, which is fantastic. It's it's really fantastic. Um, if you guys like anything like Supernatural, Charmed, um, Bones, you're gonna love Grimm. It's so good! It's on Amazon and I'm obsessed with it. All the characters are so good. Like Most shows have like a character that you're like, oh my god, this is so annoying, but this has none of that. It's very, like, a cross between Charmed, Supernatural, and Bones. So it's, like, you know, cops, 
like each episode has its own issue you know like it's like a, like a murder to solve um but it's also supernatural so like it's super cool and um oh i just love it so much i love it so much um, i'm on season three maybe four i don't even know um but i think there's six or seven seasons and i don't want it to end i'm so in love with it um yeah and also did i talk about the mandalorian the end like what oh my god guys seriously i can't believe it i also wanted to thank my boyfriend because he introduced me to star wars i mean i'd never seen any of them like i didn't even know like anything about the whole world and he introduced me to it and we watched all the movies and he got me into the mandalorian and i'm obsessed i he actually for christmas got me um grogu i had a little like stuffed one that was like really tiny but he got me like the grogu in like the little pod and stuff and it's just amazing i actually thought it was a hat when i was opening it because i couldn't like feel i don't even know um but i thought that was amazing and i just love it so much and i'm just so happy to be in a new fandom um because i didn't have enough ones before um sorry for the snot i should just my nose should be called snot town because like there's just so much snot from so much crying um yeah so I don't really know what the point, like I said, of this video is other than to, like, update you and just have, like, a little chat. But I also got this pillow, random, um, but this pillow is from, not the pillowcase, but the pillow inside I just got yesterday from Bed Bath Beyond, and it is the brand Buffy, which I'm sure you've seen on, like, commercials or on ads online. It's, like, the brand that's, like, cooling comforter and cooling sheets and stuff. This pillow is originally like $45 and it was on sale for $20 at Bed Bath & Beyond and it might still be when this goes up, I hope. I think everyone should have this pillow. Like, I want to get it for everyone. Like, I wish I got it before Christmas. I would have got one for everybody. Um, it's the best pillow and I love memory foam. Like, I'm all about that. Most of my pillows are memory foam. But this one, it's like an actual cloud. It's like firm but not firm. It's like squishy. I don't know about those. Do you guys know about those stuffed animals that are like this weird squishy material? That's what this feels like. And like yesterday I had the worst pain like right here. Like my shoulder and back right there. And it was like so bad I couldn't lift my arm. I was in so much pain. And I am woke up this morning after one night of sleeping on this pillow. And I'm like 95% better. Like it's slightly painful. But like nowhere near as bad as it was yesterday. Um, so this pillow was amazing um <laughs> just wanted to throw that out there um if you guys do still want a um i have snot i need to blow my nose hang on guys oh fun fact while i'm getting a tissue um i oh i don't actually know how to blow my nose i know it's weird but in like preschool or whatever like you get taught how to blow your nose like i just could never do it i don't know if it like popped my ears i'm not sure but i always like stick a tissue up my nose instead of actually blowing it so fun fact about me i'm not gonna show you but uh yeah people always drink blow your nose and i always like sniffle and stuff blow your nose and i can't it's just something i never learned how to do just like i can't whistle um but blowing your nose is like a pretty you know regular thing that most people know how to do but i'm just not one of those people so yeah that's a fun fact about me um <laughs> Also, yeah, I was gonna say, if you guys want a Christmas haul still, let me know. Like, I can pull everything out that I remember to pull out that hasn't been, like, used a lot. Um, and I can do that if you guys feel like it's something that you'd want to see. I mean, I feel like it would put a little bit of, of joy onto my channel and into the world. Um, and you guys know I'm never, like, showing off. It's just a video I do almost every year. Um, and yeah, I just, you know, if you guys want that, let me know. Um, I was planning on doing a video with this brand, um, one second, another booger, um, I was supposed to be doing a video with a brand of an eyelash growth serum, it's like for your eyes and your brows, and it's like expensive and like really legit, and I was super excited about it, but within two days of using it, my eyes were bad, like bad, I can put a picture if I still have one. I actually sent it to the brand to tell them, like, sorry, but, like, I can't do the video because I can't keep using the product. My eyes were so red and swollen, and they were painful. Like, they weren't itchy, but they were so painful. Like, I felt like I had black eyes. Um, and I noticed that, but it was, the weird thing was I would used the product in the morning for the first time. And I actually wore makeup that day, so I thought maybe the mascara was bothering me. And since I had makeup on, I didn't see the redness. And then I had 
you know, taking my makeup off. I still didn't notice it. And the next morning I woke up, my eyes were so red. Um, like, not that little eye eye, but like the eyelids, like right here, it literally looked like I had like used red eyeliner. It was really, really bad. Um, and it was so painful and I just didn't put two and two together. I thought maybe I just hadn't been wearing makeup and my face was irritated. So I kept using the product for another like day and a half. And then I realized, oh my god, that's what it is. And my redness was like getting out here. It was bad. I don't know what my reaction was to it. I like checked all the ingredients. So I'm not really sure, but that was a big old bummer. So that was a video now I'm not going to be able to do. Um, I also have a few videos in the works coming soon. I should be getting some products in the mail and PR. Um, and I might have a sponsored video coming up. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know. If you guys, if there's like a specific video you want, let me know. I know I haven't done an ASMR video in a hot minute. I just haven't had like the mood to sit down and like be calm and like help you guys relax because I'm not relaxed. So um, I will try to do that soon. I know you guys love those. I like them too. Um, so hopefully I'll get a chance to do that soon. Um, let me know what kind of ASMR you want. You guys want just like regular, like my favorites in the ASMR. Do you want like more role play? um you know let me know um yeah sorry i just oh my god just it's been a really hard last few weeks and um i just feel like i haven't had time for anything like i by the time i get in bed at night i'm like oh i can do some work like i can't i'm just so wiped um i'm literally going 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 from when i wake up until like 9 8 9 p.m um we have a lot of stuff just to do for my family and like dealing with stuff and it's just not been easy um it's just been really bad to lose two people in your family that you wish you had known better um in within a few days of each other and right before christmas um i felt close with my grandma i did i i talked to her a lot and i wrote her letters and i felt close with her so this really sucks and then my uncle like he was very private and I don't think any of us really knew him as well as we would have liked to. Um, I was happy that I got to see him. Um, I think after the first time he was in the hospital, he had come over to do laundry. Um, I mean, like we kept our distance and everything, um, but I was happy that I got to see him because before that, I don't think I'd seen him for over a year. Um, and then I did talk to him on the phone the day before that, the day before he died, so... I was happy I got to talk to him, um, you know, he had like seven cats at his apartment complex that he was feeding, I actually saw a couple of them when we went over there after the fact, um, you know, we had to pack up his apartment and like, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just very like surreal at this point, um, and it's really, you know, both of these losses are hitting my mom and she had taken care of both of them like she pretty much took time off work and took like family leave to take care of both of them um because she is a nurse so um she has a little bit more experience obviously than anyone else in the family and um she just was there and like I that going through that I can't even imagine and I'm just trying to be there for her that's like my main thing um is just being there for my mom so I'm hoping that I'm doing a good job, and I just know she's going through so much. Thankfully, she's been off work. Um, they did give her four bereavement days, two per person, which is good because even at the, with them happening at the same time, like, you don't know what, what they're going to do. Um, and they're actually closing her unit down at the hospital to clean it, so she had some extra time off, which was nice. Um, especially around this time of year, she actually was off on New Year's Eve for the first time in, like, 20 years. Um, but I was at my boyfriend's house that night, which was nice. Um, going to his house actually feels like a little bit of a vacation, to be honest. Like, not that I don't love my family or anything, but it's nice to be able to be there and, like, just have that kind of escape. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to be as happy as I can. And there's so many things in my life that I, to be happy for. Um, like, there's so many good things happening that, like... I want to be happy, but, you know, when bad things happen, it just, it really sucks. And this video is almost 20 minutes long, so I should get going before I just keep rambling on and on and on. Um, but I just wanted to kind of reach out and let you guys know what's going on. And, um, yeah. 
So my next video should be on Saturday. I think this is on a Tuesday. Um, which means last night was probably The Bachelor. So maybe Saturday I'll react to that. Um, yeah, I guess I could do that if you guys want that. But I'll probably, I, I might react to like the premiere. Um, I'm not sure yet like, what I'll be in the mood to do. But if you guys, like I said, if you still want a Christmas haul, if it's not too late... You can let me know about that or any other videos you guys want to see because I'm just not feeling very inspired right now or motivated. Um, but yeah, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.